All right, I'm ready for you. What's up everybody, this is Chris Harris Jr. and this is how I spent and saved my first million dollars. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Small city, everybody knows who you are there. Big on family. I grew up on the south part of it, in the country mostly. Really not too much stuff to do out there, man. So, uh, for me, it was just playing sports or uh, doing some uh, more country stuff, rodeo stuff. We had Mighty Mike football, and you start at age five. And at age five, I was scoring a lot of touchdowns. So uh, from there, I kind of loved the game. My first job was um, my friend Jim Cox. He used to run these big tournaments, big basketball tournaments. And I used to run, run the clock and help him run the tournament. I was getting like 300 to 400 a weekend. So for me, that was pretty good. For a kid in high school, that, I, that was, I was able to buy a lot with that. <laughs> Kansas was my first football offer. It wasn't too far away from home. I started all four years there in Kansas. But after my freshman year, I started opposite of Keith Tlaib. He was all American already in college. And that kind of gave me a lot of confidence uh, that I could play in the NFL. When I didn't get drafted, uh, it was a lockout. So we had a lockout period. Um, the agents couldn't communicate with the coaches and anything. So everything was shut down. And then once the lockout got lifted in July, literally the next day I got a call from Denver. It was definitely a roller coaster. And I had to go straight there the next day and um, I had to be ready, man. After I finished my college season in December, I had already had an agent. I started dating my wife then, and then everything started falling in place. Yeah, it was a three-year, $1 million contract for Denver, right? And then what they don't tell you is it's kind of a split deal. If you don't play, then you get like half of that. So for me, it just made that where I just knew I had to work a little bit harder, do a little bit more to be able to go get really my second contract. It was a five-year deal, $50 million. It felt good, man, just being able to accomplish that. Regardless of getting paid, really it added more weight to my back, you know, more pressure, more responsibility. You got to continue to play at a high level. So it didn't do anything except add more pressure to me. I wasn't too uh, big on, on just going out and spending crazy out from the jump. Just be able to add that generational wealth, have enough saved and just have something to pass down. Until now, I would say round now is where we can really start really investing. It's my first year out here in LA now. Yeah, we own a lot of Nike warehouses, a lot of land, investing in some homes. Just kind of, you know, the real estate game. You sell, you build it up. A lot of stocks. Our financial advisor helps coordinate a lot of that. Definitely save as much as I can. I advise all the young guys, man. Get on a small budget and uh, have great discipline with it. We talked about how I save my money. Now let's talk about how I spend my money. The very first thing I bought was a truck. It was about 60K, six stacks. All silver, Avalanche, had some nice 26s on there, man, big wheels. I had to get the truck in Denver. The snow was crazy at the time, and I just needed something that I knew that was gonna get me through the snow. Uh, it's still working, man, it's still doing good. I use it more as a work truck now. That was my first kind of big purchase, so your first big step as a man, just buying your first, buying anything big purchase, you know what I mean? It kind of made me hungry, man, because it made you feel like I can't wait to upgrade this. Next big thing, one, two, three, was my wife's ring. Four, five, seven, nine, ten. You can see the ring cost a lot, above 100,000, 100 plus. I met my wife at Kansas. I was a freshman in college. We actually didn't date in college. Uh, my roommate was dating her best friend, which was her roommate. They never hooked us up, so um, we didn't start dating until after college. I hit her up on uh, Facebook in the DMs or whatever. And then from there, we started dating. Clothes. Let's go 50,000 on clothes. Whew. I got a lot of clothes. Going to the games, you gotta be fresh going to the games. And that's kind of when I started buying, man. Just getting ready, making sure I have all my game day outfits right. In Dallas, we have this North Park Mall. They have pretty much everything. A lot of Gucci, Louis Vuitton, um, Fendi. What was your favorite place to shop before you were an NFL player? Oh man, JC Penney's. Best dress on my current team, the Chargers, Tyrod Taylor. The best dress on my former team, I would say Von Miller, and the worst dress person will be Will Parks.
Jewelry, oh man, let's see. I'm gonna have to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jewelry for myself, 100,000. First thing I bought was a Rolex. It's my presidential Daytona. Platinum, this is my uh, one of my favorite watches just because it's so comfortable, um, it's an everyday watch. And it pretty much goes with everything, anything you wear. 2013, the big Cuban links was in style, so I think that was the first big chain I bought. They kind of are addictive, man, that you just kind of want some more. Diamonds are addictive, I guess. Car for my wife, 50K. Oh, 80K, I'm sorry. Let me add three on there. Escalade 50K, yeah, that is kind of cheap. Car for my wife, 80K. I bought her a Cadillac Escalade. Yeah, I let her choose, and um, that was that was what she wanted. We know we needed a big body for kids coming up. Then the next thing I was able to do was buy my parents' cars and my little sister a car. I see a lot of my teammates and uh, past teammates buy really fancy luxury cars for their people. Luckily, my people are very simple. They just wanted something that could to get them to point A and point B. My mom, she got a Hyundai Genesis. Uh, my dad, he's big on Camrys, man. He's just like, he just loves Camrys. And then my sister, she wanted something just to get her around everywhere. Low mileage on gas, so I bought her brand new Honda Accord and uh, they're all rolling. They're all doing good. 30,000 for my sister's car, 40,000 for both of my parents. Cars for my family members, 110K. We went to Dubai. Me, my wife, um, and my teammate, Darren uh, Stewart, and his wife. The flights are uh, very expensive. This is just a flight, 10,000. Hotel. We stayed in a nice hotel called the Taj Hotel. Um, it's right downtown. Bought a lot of shopping out there, a lot of shopping. <laughs> <laughs> they probably have the best shopping in the world. Five-story mall, man. One floor was just all shoes. So, man, we spent a lot of stuff on clothes and food. A lot of touring, riding the camels in the desert, riding the four-wheelers in the desert. I mean, that was real cool. Going to Abu Dhabi. We hung out in Abu Dhabi and just having spent a day there. It was definitely a luxury trip. I would suggest everybody try to go there one time. Go with some friends. Vacation to Dubai, 100K. And the kids, I mean, kids, I got four kids, four girls. They cost money too. <laughs> Toys, taking them to Disney, taking them to movies, all that. I have four kids, kids are expensive. 50K for the kids. This is the 650K that I spent, and this is the 500K that I put down on my house. I had bought a house, I had needed a bigger place for my family. We had. Started unloading a lot of kids. <laughs> right here together, this is a million dollars. Besides the money I spent, the money I've saved, me and my wife have been able to put in a lot of investment and in money and time in tough communities in Denver, also in Tulsa, and now picking up out here in LA. Tons of scholarships for kids, tons of meals for kids, tons of shopping, taking them shopping every year. I don't even think the money would be hard to calculate everything that we've done to um, uplift thousands of kids every year. I definitely spend a lot of money, man. You can definitely go quick if you don't uh, pay attention, for sure. My advice for a rookie coming into the league is to get a financial advisor, save your money, and be disciplined in your budget. That's it, guys. Thanks for coming to my house, listening to the stories about the money I spent and the money I've saved, and I cannot wait to get back on the football field. See you guys on Sundays.